In this video, we are going to learn how to insert an element to the end of a linked list. So I'm going to explain with an example on this side and I'm going to write the program over here. So first I'm going to define the function. This function will not return anything. The input parameter I will take for this function will be the data I want to input into the list. I'm going to call that x. So now the first thing I must do when I want to insert an element into a linked list is I must create a node for that particular data. I'm going to call this node, let's say, new node. So with this line, I am creating a node called new node, having the data st stored as x. So now, when I insert into a linked list, I can have two cases. So the first case is, the list is empty. When the list is empty, I would have created the new node storing x or whatever value x would have. Let's say this is at memory location 100. When the list is empty and this is the very first node I will be adding to the list, I must define start and end for that list. So, if this is the very first element we are adding to the list, of course, both the node pointers will point to null because there is only one element. And now, I am going to initialize the start and the end of my list. So, I need to say, start is equal to, say, 100, which is the address of the first node, end is equal to 100. Because I want to initialize the start and the end when I am adding the very first element to the list. So let's see how we are going to write that. So if the list is empty, the condition for this will be if start is equal to null, this means the list is empty. In this case, I must set start to the new node and set end to the new node. With this, I have completed adding that first node into the linked list and I can return from my function. Now let's go to the second case when the list is not empty. So let's take an example of any pre-existing list. So as of now, I have 
the elements 1 and 2 in my list. I'm giving arbitrary memory locations. I'm going to symbolize null with an x. So as of now, this is going to be my list. This will be the start node and this will be the end node. So now when I want to insert an element x, I will create a node which stores the value x. I'm going to represent null by a star so that you don't convince uh, you don't confuse the null with the x. So star means null. This is only because I can't fit the word null in these spaces. Okay, so now I have a new node which I have created, which is node x. As of now, this is null and this is null. So I want to add this to the end of the linked list. How am I going to do that? The first thing I must do is, let's say this is at memory location 300. The first thing I must do is, I must set the pre-existing end.next to the address of the new node. So this is going to become, so the first change I will make is, to this, I will make this 300. I will store 300 in end.next. So let me write the code for that. So end.next is equal to new node. So when this becomes 300, automatically this is going to point to 300. The next change I must make is I must set the new nodes previous to end because I want this to be pointing to the previous element. So I'm going to remove null from here and I'm going to set this to 200. So what does this mean? This means that I'm getting the previous address of the previous node. So now I need to set new node dot previous is equal to end. Now that I have done that, all I need to do is shift the end to the updated end after having inserted the element. So this node is no longer my end for the list. I need to make this end come here. What am I doing there? I am saying let us update end and make it end.next. And with that, we have successfully added an element to the end of the list. Let me rewrite what this list looks like now without all these scratches. So this remains the start and this becomes the end. With this we come to the end of our function. This is how we are going to insert an element to the end of a linked list.